It can be easily observed that the recent coronavirus pandemic speeded up the digital transformation and thus made us rely to a great extent on digital skills in various aspects of our lives. For example, online shopping, online classes, online appointments, even working from home. During that time, we could notice that people struggle to perform basic tasks, for instance, to mute the phone or share the screen during an online conference. That is why people need to improve their digital skills to be well prepared for the new post-pandemic reality. What actually are digital skills? Digital skills are skills that enable you to use information technology, such as computer, mobile phone, and even a tablet, for various purposes which fall within the categories of work, leisure, as well as communication. Although nowadays digital skills are of great importance, we cannot forget about soft skills. As observed by the creators of the platform called Digital Soft Skills Program, the technology can perform repetitive tasks. That is why workers are being replaced by, for example, self-service checkouts. Moreover, it has been actually calculated that 45% of tasks can be performed by technology. Hence, people's success relies upon the soft skills which cannot be developed by machines. What is interesting is that according to the research that was conducted by LinkedIn, soft skills are becoming more and more significant in the eye of managers. And 57% of them view hard skills as less important. Such a perception might stem from the fact that it's easier to develop hard skills than soft skills. So, what is the difference between soft and hard skills? Hard skills are technical skills that enable you to perform your profession. For example, when you are an IT specialist, creating websites would be one of your hard skills. Whereas soft skills are also known as people skills, which are useful for all types of jobs and not only for one particular profession. Another difference is about the fact that hard skills can be measured easily. It might be even enough for the employer to take a look at your diploma or your certificate. This is not the case when it comes to soft skills. Soft skills cannot be measured but demonstrated or proved to the employer during an interview or even the first weeks of performing the job, as they are normally disclosed when interacting with other people. Why are soft skills so important? Skillopedia has defined the five most crucial soft skills. There are the following ones. The first one is communication. It enables you to build relations with other employees and to boost performance. To communicate well, one cannot forget about maintaining eye contact and being an active listener. Number two is teamwork. It is important for employers because it has a positive impact on the atmosphere in the office. Good atmosphere influences the decision of employees to stay in the company or the organization way longer. To improve the soft skill, you need to be willing to help others, offer to cover someone whenever they are sick or on holidays, and also admit whenever you're wrong or whenever you made a mistake or misunderstood something. Number three is adaptability. Since oftentimes things do not go as expected, it is important to be flexible. Moreover, due to the digital transformation, 
the soft skills that are needed are also constantly changing. That is why it is important to be able to find your way in a completely new situation. Number four is problem solving. It consists in identifying a problem and finding the best way to solve it. Knowing how to take action and make decisions is very important. Hence, to become a problem solver and improve the skill, practice the following method whenever a problem occurs. First things, sit down. Then think about the problem, its cause, as well as possible solutions, and then present to your colleagues various alternatives. And the last one, number five, it's critical thinking. It is the ability of forming adequate judgment on the basis of observation and facts. Since creativity was ranked as the most valuable asset in business, let's take a look at the ways in which one can boost their creativity. Consider the following things. Stay curious and educate yourself in various fields. Treat your co-workers as your source of inspiration. Engage in creative writing activities like Try Out Writing Challenge app, which gives you ideas for stories to develop. But don't be afraid of failure and write down all your ideas. Also, it's good to ask questions, but also to take a break. Meanwhile, the creators of Novel Resume have identified the soft skills which are in demand as for 2022. These soft skills are the following ones. Time management, communication, adaptability, problem solving, teamwork, leadership, interpersonal skills, work ethic, attention to detail, and creativity. It is vital to remember that creativity is not only about art or inventing flying cars, but also about finding solutions to new problems. Catherine Timish, who conveyed her speech during TEDxA event, points out that we don't know what the future holds for us. Consequently, we don't know which obstacles we will need to overcome and that is why it's important to inspire creativity both in ourselves and the future generations. Do not limit your imagination, daydream, but also get bored. Why it's good is to meet new people, get out of your comfort zone, even visit new places. And finally, create new concept maps. Concept maps are used with the goal of visualizing links between concepts or ideas. To create concept maps, you can use your digital skills and use the platform, for example, that it's called Miro. The platform provides you with a template and all you need to do is to personalize it by changing the colors, adding arrows or even deleting them if you don't need them and writing down the ideas. Yet, you don't need to use any digital tool for concept maps as it is enough to write a specific concept in the middle of the page and connect it with subordinate concepts. How to identify soft skills? Here goes a tip from Nicole Wood the CEO of Amalariba, who shared with the platform called Glassdoor the following thing. First, gain self-awareness of your strengths and improvement opportunities. Then you can begin to truly harness your strengths and develop your blind spots. Additionally, she enumerated soft skills, which are crucial for getting promoted as well as the ones that are needed to become a leader, like showing empathy, having strong presence, expressing gratitude, communicating effectively, and managing stress. 
Additionally, to be able to identify your soft skills, you can ask. Ask your friends, ex workmates or even ex-employers about the soft skills that they notice in you. Moreover, if they have good memory, maybe they could even provide you with examples of situations in which you demonstrated a soft skill to them. It may, be, it may turn out that you are too critical towards yourself and your colleagues value in you the skills that you would not think about without their help. Another way in which you can identify your soft skills is to think about the skills that have been mentioned before and try to think about a situation in which you demonstrated a specific skill. You can also think about situations in which you did not know how to respond or did not act adequately. Then try to think about the skill that you lacked in that particular moment and how could you approach the situation if you needed to face it again one day. Look at the different types of questions provided on LinkedIn by Douglas Scott. Those are examples of questions which you might be asked when your hard skills versus soft skills need to be evaluated. For the hard skills, we have questions such as how do you measure the success of a product launch? What top financial reports does management need and why? And also, what methods or metrics do you use to evaluate the organization progress? Regarding soft skills, they can ask you questions about tell me of a time where you had to resolve a conflict. What did you do? Describe a time when you were assigned new responsibilities. How did you adapt to that? And also, how do you adjust to changes you have no control over? Now, we would like to present you digital tools which may help you with boosting one of your soft skills, namely creativity. Since it says that visiting new places is one of the factors thanks to which you might be able to rediscover your creative side, do not hesitate to visit the website of our project that you will find here the link where in the section that is called map you can find examples of tools which enable you to visit museums or places online like the Sistine Chapel, the Teatre Museo Dalí in Figueres, the city of Tarragona, do not hesitate to find inspiration, for instance, when visiting the Teatre Museo Dalí and seeing the works of art representing surrealism. Such a non-obvious representation of objects on canvas sets you creative thinking in motion. Another tool that might be worth using for improving this very soft skill, and it was developed by the Parisian London Museum which you can access through this website. The mechanism of the tool is similar to one employed by dating apps like Tinder. The idea consists in finding a match to the visitor. Yet the match is not another person, but a work of art. Not only does the app provide visitors with short descriptions of the works, but also it gives the users the possibility of chatting with them. Also, depending on the words of the art, the characters will differ. Ones will be happy, others will be sad and melancholic, etc. In this webinar, we have learned about hard, soft and digital skills. It is vital to remember that although hard skills and digital skills are important, one cannot forget about improving their soft skills, which are now considered to be the ones that can secure you a place within a company. Think about the soft skills that have been mentioned 
and ask yourself which ones are not your strong points and subsequently try working on them to improve your employment prospects as well to focus on your personal development. Don't forget to pay special attention to creativity and try out the digital tools proposed with our digital creative transformation projects. With all said, the last thing is good luck.